Hey guys, another quick vlog. So, something I tweeted uh, earlier today. I've uh, been poking around the web, as I do, checking out what's going on in the tech world, see how things are evolving. And one thing that's really interesting is I noticed that the web stack, HTML5, CSS3, JavaScript, in some form or another, the web stack is becoming even more important today than it was, I would argue, 10 years ago or five years ago. And why do I say that? Because, well, first of all, the web stack is used in traditional web design. You've got to use these languages. Web app development, for sure. Uh, now, with uh, Node.js in the ascension, um, you see now JavaScript is now being used, of course, for server-side programming, not just browser programming. Now, if you don't know what this is, check out my course. I teach all this stuff. Um, but beyond that, the web stack is becoming more and more important in the creation of mobile apps you, through things like PWA, um, Progressive websites, progressive web applications, excuse me. Um, also through frameworks like Cordova, PhoneGap, this is all web based stuff. Um, and now JS, JavaScript, is now being used in AI and machine learning as well. So, um, and I'm, I know that JavaScript is being used in other applications as well. So it's, it's interesting how more and more and more the web stack is becoming more and more important. Now, you may or not, with PWAs and uh, web-based animations and so forth, uh, you can really do some crazy cool stuff right within the web browser in terms of uh, fancy graphics and animation, UI. And you can, with the PWA capabilities, this all stuff basically comes with HTML5, you can really turn a web app into a rich client type of experience. You have local storage and you got threads and all kinds of stuff like that. It's really um, interesting. And because it's open, because it's cross-platform, I see that this is probably just going to keep growing for sure. That's something I've learned over the years. Open technology and cross-platform technology that already has a pretty big user base, and I don't think there's a bigger user base or a coder base uh, than, the, the, than the web stack, that's for sure. Um, that bodes very well for it. So if I had to pick any particular language to learn or any particular framework, or if you will, uh, just in terms of the business opportunities and the job op opportunities and the flexibility, I think the web stack would be is my number one choice today, simply because of the business and job opportunities and the, the big flexibility. Don't confuse this with me saying that JavaScript is the best programming language ever and everything else sucks. I don't believe that. I believe every single language has its own pros and its cons, and um, I still believe that. It's just, I always look at programming languages and coding languages and frameworks, I always look at it through two lenses. First, I look at the the technology itself to see whether or not the technology is any good. And most, many, 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 many are really good these days. They all have their pros and cons. And the second thing I consider is just the, the business opportunities, job, freelance jobs, freelancing, building your own stuff. I look at th those issues as well. These are two important issues that you should always consider when you're looking at tech. All right, that's it for uh, this blog. I think it's pretty good. Um, just to let you know, my complete freelancer course is so close now. I had to take a couple of weeks off and building it because of uh, mouth surgery, but it's just about ready. It was really cool. I'm going to include at least five templates. You got your initial proposal template, your contract template, your workflow template, you got your invoice template, and maybe another one as well. We'll see. Uh, besides the audio and the video component, I think it's going to be a very good course. I think it could be the very best course ever put out. And I've been putting out courses since 2003, so it'll be pretty good, I think. Anyway, that's it. Ciao. Bye.